Hello YouTube, this is going to be a part two to the distance range test comparing the Redivis RT97S to the Bridgecom BCR40DU model. I'm going to show you my setup here quick and then we'll explain the difference that in this video is going to be. I'm using the same uh, antenna which is going to be the Redivis M04 6dB gain antenna. I'm using LMR400, it's about 30 feet in the air. Uh, and also the SWRs on that antenna is 1.4 so let's go inside and show you okay kind of cut myself off there but let's go inside here we're inside going to show you the repeaters here we're going to up first is going to be the bridge com now the difference in this video I turned the power up the power on the output of the antenna is going to be 44 44, 45.9 uh, watts. Now the Redivis can only do six watts. Now more power should give me better penetration. We're gonna go to the exact same spot we did in the other video. Uh, so we're gonna see uh, if power is gonna give us that penetration that we need. Now I, I, I'm gonna mention like I did in the other video, the bridge com is tuned to Mark's frequency, the, the duplexer inside there. Uh, as I mentioned before, his is 462.675. My frequency is going to be 462.625. Now, if you're wondering why that is, it's because my repeater is duplexer is tuned for the 462.625. So that's the reason why we have a little bit of a difference uh, in frequency. Now, you know, I could retune mine, you know, but it just, for that little bit of difference, I don't think it's going to make that much big uh, of a difference in receiving wise and whatnot. Now, I am also going to be running a simplex repeater, which is going to be the exact same setup as before. And I'm going to show you that here uh, in a minute. It's going to be right here. It's about from the repeater room there. Uh, 12 feet away that is a handheld program to repeater frequency um, and it will record and play back all my uh, activity uh, when I key up a radio so that's how we're gonna be do we're, we're gonna compare the s readings and how does the sound sound now the s readings is good my mobile radio uh, does have a s meter and I will be zooming in on that and we're going to compare it and then you'll also hear the audio so that's all we're going to do it just like this just like before matter of fact I'll post that video link in the description below if you want to see part one the difference again part one I try to make everything equal and I turn the power down and the bridge com to six watts because that's all the Redivis repeater does I was trying to do apples to apples comparison this video we're at 45 watts on the bridge com and the uh, Redivis is at six watts because that's its max power after the duplexer so but that's what we're going to do here and that's my simplex let me show you my car setup again uh, I'll be right back okay we're going to be using my homemade adjustable j-pole antenna that's on my car I've done many videos on this it works very well that's the antenna we're going to be using uh, so just to kind of explain that that SW on this antenna is a uh, 1.3 I believe or no maybe it's 1.4 I think it's 1.4 1.5 if I remember right but nevertheless, uh, we're going to be using this antenna here. So let's go and take a peek inside the car. Inside the car, this is the setup we're going to be using. Uh, we're going to be using the Renovus RT95 mobile radio that has a uh, built-in S meter. I do have a watt meter hooked up. The radio puts out about 20 watts. The car will be running. You'll be able to see the, the voltage on the Renovus uh, mobile radio. That's what's nice about the Renovus is it shows you the voltage so it, you can kind of make sure that you're running at peak uh, peak power and if your voltage is low for whatever reason well then you'll know that so that's kind of nice about that so we're running that the watt meter uh, will be hooked up I guess it does about 20 watts when the car is running here's my custom built arm that's gonna hold the phone here so we can get close to the um, radio to let you see the um, S reading on, on the radio there 
uh, uh, then I'll take the headset off that I'm wearing, and I'll put it in front of the radio so you can hear the sound. So that's the plan. So up first is going to be the Bridgecom at 45 watts. Uh, when I get to that location, I'm going to be on my way now, and we'll talk with you in a little bit. Okay, we're at the first location. I shouldn't say first. This will probably be the only spot. This is a really tough spot to get reception. As you can see, the road's right there. So I'm down below the um, road here. Uh, and what we're going to be doing here... and by the way, as the crow flies to the repeater, it is 3.9 miles away. My car is facing the direction of the repeater. We got the bridge comm up first. Um, and also, too, I'd like to mention, my repeater is in the worst setup possible. It's in a valley. It's in a, uh, in a hole. So my range is not excellent to begin with because of that. Um, I'm today is a, a pretty much a, a clear day. There's a few clouds out from before. Uh, as you can see here, the trees have leaves, and uh, you know I'm surrounded by trees. I'm by a bolt landing, um, if you're wondering. So let's go ahead. I'm going to move the phone closer to the um, radio here. We're going to do a check. This is the Bridgecom repeater. BCR 40 DU at about 45 watts of power. So let's get this. Bear with me as I do this. I apologize. Um, but we're going to try to get this as best as I can. Oh, there we go. So hopefully you guys can see that. So then I'll take the headset off here and I will put it oh, it's a little bit of a glare but there I'll put the headset in front of it so you can actually hear it so let's go ahead and do the test radio check one two three four one two three four radio check Radio check, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Check, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Okay, it's, it's trying to get through. Um, we did have rain last night, a pretty good storm. Everything is wet, uh, just to let you know that. I'm going to try to, I think what we're going to do is let's, let's move the car up a little bit forward here and see. And by the way, the car is running. If you could not tell. Uh, the meter on here showed that the car is running. Let's see if I can get a little better. You know, I'm like I said, I you know, I, and I should really take the phone out of here and really show you what I'm up against here. But let's go ahead and put the um, microphone by the radio. Let, I went about four feet forward uh, to see if I can get a little better uh, area here. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Check. Okay, let me see if I can get, I didn't realize there's a glare on the, on the, on here. Let's see, okay, there we go. Okay, try that again, sorry about that. Radio check, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Four, one. Radio check, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four.
Okay, so there is the, let's zoom this back out here. There is the bridge comm. I'm going to go back. We're going to switch it to the Radivis. And then uh, we'll see how that does. Like I said, it did rain last night. Everything's wet. Um, so that could have a little bit of effect here. Um, but, yeah. So let's. I'm going to put you on pause. We'll be right back. Okay. We're back here. We switched it out. We got the Redivis RT97S hooked up. Um, if you want to save $40 on the Redivis model, I'll post the coupon link down below. Um, also, too, just to let you guys know, when I was running the BridgeCom, the Redivis was not even plugged into power whatsoever. It's the same when I'm doing it this way. Not only is it the BridgeCom turned off, I unplugged the power cord in the back of it. We moved the antenna, obviously, now to the Redivis repeater. We're going to try that. We're going to go back to the same location. And I forgot to mention, I had the BridgeCom hooked up. The power level setting, at least for this particular one, um, is 745. Uh, you, so if you are wondering, that's the level that you would need to turn your uh, BridgeCom to. Of course, we check it with a watt meter because every... Uh, you know, even though they're, you may have the exact same model, you might have to tweak the adjustment a little bit. But that's the BridgeCom setting that I have. So now we got the Red, uh, Redivis hooked up. Let's. I'm going to put you on pause. We're going to go back to the same location, and let's see what happens. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back at the location. This is the Redivis RT97S. It's only doing six watts. Um, I will post a link in description below how to save uh, $40. I'm also going to post a link to how to get an interface board, plug and play, that will give you Zello date and time, weather announcements, and repeater ID on your Redivis repeater. I'll post that link in the description below also. So. Uh, as I mentioned, as the crow flies, I'm 3.9 miles away. We're at a boat landing. You can kind of see the main road there. So let's go ahead and see how this does. Now, I, like I mentioned earlier, it did storm last night. Everything's wet. So let's go ahead and get you. I apologize here. Bear with me. Let's see if we can get you so that you're not getting a glare which is going to be challenging here. And hopefully here we'll get this. <laughs> eh, nothing ever goes the way you want it to go, does it? Okay, there. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to take the headphone off. I'll put the microphone in front of the radio. We're going to do a radio check, and let's see what happens. Radio check one two three four one two three four. One two three four. Radio check one two three four one two three four. Okay, let me do one other thing here. I'm going to move the car about five feet ish, about the same as I did with the bridge comm. See if we can get a little better spot right there, was where it was before for the bridge comm. Okay, let's try this again. Radio check one two three four one two three four. Radio check one two three four one two three four. Radio check one two three one two three.
Okay, it, it looks like to me um, that the bridge com had a little more S reading. Um, usually uh, wattage gives you a little more better penetration than it does distance, but that's what it looks like to me. What, what do you, I'm going to leave it to you guys to post in the comments to see which one do you think did better. Now remember, the bridge com is at about 45 watts. The Redivis is only at 6 watts because that's the maximum the Redivis can do. Uh, so post what you think. And I'm going to also, I think, um, I'm going to put you on pause here. And we're going to step out of the vehicle. I'm going to kind of show you the, the surroundings so you understand what I'm up against. I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. This is the surroundings. There's the road. There's where I've been parked. You can see all the brush that's around me here. I guess it is a boat landing, like for canoes and whatnot down there. Um, so yeah, that's this is what I'm up against. And like I said, the road's up there, so you can kind of see I'm down in the in the um, in a hole here. But there you have it. Uh, I want you guys to post which what which repeater you think did better. Post a comment down below. Uh, thank you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe and thank you and have a good day.